Well, well, our socials at KBC Channel One. Uh, the person in charge of our sign language docket is Lensa Odingo. And remember that uh, the cabinet secretary in charge of uh, sports, Ababu Namwamba, is hosting a dinner for the rally drivers that has just concluded and is applauding all of them, all of them, with the exception of Nan, and is singling out uh, your national broadcaster, KBC, and giving them a thumbs up. Uh, for the end-to-end -end coverage that they gave uh, the rally remember the rally uh, evoking memories for some of us and uh, you can see on your screen uh, the Masa is there in the background jumping up being part of that celebration very colorful uh, celebration uh, there you are it's happening live at a Nairobi hotel Western Hotel uh, to be more specific and uh, and I just want to get over with this bulletin and perhaps make my way there. Well, thank you for joining us. Now, our lead story. The High Court has declared the appointment of 50 cabinet administrative secretaries as unconstitutional. In a majority decision by a three-judge bench, the court held that the creation of the position of CAS had failed the public participation dictates of the Constitution and was therefore null and void. The ruling was based on a petition filed by the Law Society of Kenya as well as the Katiba Institute challenging the appointment of the office uh, made in March 2023. Here now is that story. The fate of the 50 CSS appointed by President William Ruto in March lies with the Court of Appeal after the High Court ruled the appointments were unconstitutional. The newly created office and fresh complement of 50 had to comply with the constitution and the criteria set out earlier in Nokia's case in order to be lawfully established. They did not comply. For the avoidance of doubt, the entire complement of 50 CASs is therefore unconstitutional. In a three-hour judgment by a majority the three-judge bench held the appointment had failed the provisions of public participation, principle of the Constitution. The judges further held that the Public Service Commission erred by ignoring to seek advice from the Salaries and Remuneration Commission in determining the pay grade of the created positions. It is therefore clear to us that the fifth respondent should have consulted the SRC in order for it to ascertain the resultant financial implications. It is our considered view that based on the separation of powers doctrine, budgetary concerns fall within the realm of policy and rightly belong to the other relevant arms of government as may be appropriate. We thus decline the invitation to delve any deeper into that arena. The court went ahead to state that the position had been scrapped in 2022 and therefore new appointments was based on the 23 positions created by the fourth president which had ceased to exist. That the same is an unrelated cause of action within the context of the consolidated petition. The petitioner is however at liberty to raise the issue as a separate cause of action should it wish to pursue the same. In a landmark decision on a petition by the Law Society of Kenya and Katiba Institute challenging the legality of the position, two judges, Kanye Kimondo and Alim Visram, held that given that there was a sort of public participation in the creation of the 23 CSS positions, it cannot shoulder the addition 27 position, and that 50 individuals cannot deputize the 22 cabinet secretaries. The city of rules as that of principal secretary, contrary to the principles of public finance. See, an order that the said advert of 21st September 2022 be declared a nullity as it fails to provide crucial information that enables the public to make informed contributions in the establishment of the office of CAS. The 50 CSS were appointed in March but stopped by the Labor Relations Court and barred from drawing any salaries until a case that had been lodged is determined. Which way is the 50 CSS? They have decided the next train is to the Court of Appeal to seek redress after feeling dissatisfied with the landmark ruling of the High Court. For Prime Edition, I'm Ruth.